Welcome back to the channel everybody, Connor Nair here. And uh, today I will be doing a uh, layout update of my end scale layout. Uh, I'll show you a few things I got. Um, a few more hundred dollars in the hole. Because, you know, that's always exciting. Um, and uh, it's, it's been a while. It's always been a while since I made my last video. Because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a video. And then I don't. And anyway, got sidetracked. Um... So, I did get some new wheels for these two front cars. I can't remember if I told you that already or not. I got um, 33. I don't know if they're supposed to be 33. Like, scale 33 inch or whatever, anyway. Um, flanges, I replaced these old school, these huge flanges with some more modded ones, like they're micro trains, whatever. Um, today, I just went down to the model shop. Um, it was kind of fun. We went down to the Citadel 2 and there was like no one there. And they were like, oh yeah, let's just go into the, you know, the employees only. Because there was no employees there. But no, we didn't any because we didn't do that. We were going to, but then we didn't. So we'd be good Samaritans and not. Um, anyway, I got uh, these two. Uh, this switch and this one down here. These are the ones I got for Christmas. Um, I just got them glued down this week. I got this glued down or PL down because I had some extra PL. So I, uh... Put that down, scrape it out, that food. You know, this I tried to use white glue and it wasn't as good. With the PL, it's solid. Solid for this anyway. I, I tried to use PL to put that down and it was a mess. But anyway, this is solid. Um, and my tracks, my tracks glued down to that now too. So I have my arrival in the poacher track. And my, and my first yard track is complete. Uh, and I took up two and a little bit of, of uh, the... Uh, Atlas Flex track. So then today I bought these two switches. Where is it? Oh, wait, oh this, yeah, this is the other one. Um, I should have waited until they were on sale, to be honest, because they're freaking these Pico switches. I'm telling you, they're expensive, but uh, yeah, because I could have opted to use these other these Atlas switches on the whole layout. I have enough of them, but maybe it was a Mistake that I bought them. Yeah, I mean, they were only they were just cheap. I got that box of, you know, sixty bucks for a box. Came with a whole bunch of track, whole bunch of stuff. Kind of got my my brain turning. So, that's what I wanted to do anyway. And you know, sixty dollars in the model railway industry, honestly, isn't that much. So, anyway, so then I got three more pieces of flex track. Uh, of course, the tracks get shorter as you go up the ladder, so I may not even, I may not need the, all three of them. You know, that's good. I can use the third one for something else, you know, because I need lots anyway. So that's that. Um, and as you see here, this is new. Not that, that's old. That's a funny story about that. I kind of accidentally... See, you pay the, your fee, like a, like a damage fee, basically. Um... I was in grade 7 I did that. <laughs> and then I was like, how am I just going to take it home? And now I just won't get my $2 back. And then I forgot the combination, so that was kind of a waste. But anyway, I have it. I Maybe mean, we'll shoot at it with something someday, I don't know. Anyway, so I got these two locomotives. Um, and I think I'm kind of being a little thrifty here with this layout. And it's kind of going good because, of course, all of these cars, well, I pose to this BC rail. Um... What was it? Yeah. And these two tenders. I got these for Christmas a long time ago. Two years ago I got those for Christmas. And I got this BC Rail and those were retail. The rest were um, found at, you know, model shows. Same with these. I got these from a guy in the club. Five bucks, I think it was. I got those and I got this tank car and got all three of those locomotives or something. Was it? No. I don't know. It was, it was like five bucks. Real cheap, real cheap. The only thing I bought retail on this layout has been this, really. Other than that, it's been, you know, Christmas presents and all that good stuff. Anyway, so yeah, this locomotive I got at the model shop. Same place I got these ones, one in Halifax. You know, the closest one. Um, and it's DCC equipped. It was a used locomotive, but it's got brass wheels. It's really hard to keep clean. It's really a bugger. So I wanted to buy something that was um, easier to maintain and would run better. So, what you know, a brand new locomotive. Like, that, that's 130 Right now, 130 would buy me a new locomotive without DCC. Now these have DCC already installed, um, and plus they are used. 
So they may not run as good as a brand new locomotive, but that's the one behind here, the uh, Dash 840C. They have this exact same locomotive at the hobby shop um, for $130 without DCC. This one has DCC equipped and except, I mean, they, they, they don't have the sunshades. Neither of them come with sunshades in them. Like, I don't know, I, I, I maybe I'll have to do some scrapping and find some somewhere, but that's not a big big deal to me. <laughs> the fact that it has the MU hoses, not the MU hoses, but the... Oh, I, I sound, uh, sound like I don't know what I'm saying now. The electrical connections between the locomotives, so you can uh, consist them. They have those on them, actually. So that's, that's a cool detail. The first locomotive I have actually has those on it. <laughs> Anyway, so that's that. I paid 125 for the. Actually, I got a discount on this locomotive because I'm in the hobby club, not the hobby club, the mall club. Big old 12 bucks, you know. So it's now 150. It's only 140 dollars. No, sorry, 340 dollars for those two, the track and the switches. And um, also, my father he paid for some stuff too. We we got some um, plastic cement. Um, so we oh he got a fire truck, a HO fire truck for the um, uh, fire training facility we want to build because fire trucks are cool. And uh, oh, he, I'm sure he got something else. Yeah, he got a uh, a collection fire truck for his collection of um, 164th trucks. He's got. Um, he's also got a collection of like. Uh, not 150, but whatever big big fire trucks. The the matchbox trucks he collects too. I mean, he got one of those little tow trucks, cool. I was gonna say something now, I can't remember what the fuck I was gonna say, Jesus Murphy. Anyway, that's that. Um, so I'm gonna get this underway, really nothing much has happened over here. Um, I got some, I got some stuff soldered. Um, my new solder gun, I don't know if I show that you or not. It's not a it's not a model solder gun, that's for sure. It's a professional solder gun. I paid like eighty dollars for it or something. But it's great because it warms up super hot and it does all I I just put it on there, a little solder, it's great. It works better than the last one I had, that's for damn sure. I know I'm kind of got profanity, that's why I should apologize for that. There's the package for the wheels just outside. Thirty three inch, yeah, that's what thirty three inch wheels, yeah. Supposed to do, uh, what's the math? Three times four, twelve. Yeah, yeah, okay. Three train cars instead of did two with the heavyweights, but it's all good, man. It's all good. So really, that's 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 the update on the layout. Um, so far, so good. Um, I mean, I, I got the these this crossovers here. I'm doing them. I did them with the uh, the Atlas track. That's okay. I, I, I'm not going to rip them up to put the Picos down. But I think from now on I'm going to go all Pico. Um, just a thing. I know uh, not about the N scale, but my HO scale layout. I think what I want to do, and I don't know if this is going to work or not. You, you know, I don't know. You might, guys might have to give me insight if you know what's going on here. Um, I want to take Code 83 track. Um, right now I run Code 100. And I want to take Code 83 because on the model shop they have some used Code 83 Atlas with brown tie flex track. Um, and I want to use that in my yard with the Pico switches. Um, and then I want to basically file it down somewhere along there. Kind of uh, transitioned from the 100, Code 100 to the Code 83. Um, and basically uh, try to section it off. So, oh, excuse me, I just had a... Mac and cheese and my pope in here. Uh, it was a while ago, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I want to do that. And um, then I kind of want to, as I'm going with my layouts here and at my father's, I'm slowly gaining, I'm slowly gaining experience and uh, like tips and things and how to do certain things. So I think I want to try to do that and try to... Um, make it more of a realistic professional kind of idea and uh yeah it'll also they had some I don't think I, they had some CN high railer trucks there now i have i have two union pacific work trucks i have a CN uh, old Chevy work truck 
Um, and then I've got a Santa Fe 1960 Ford uh, High Boy um, as a monument. So I kind of have a few different railways in there and I think I might want to uh, basically have a yard just full of different railways like Union Pacific, CN, you know, stuff like that just to kind of make it look like it's, you know, maybe even a fictional railway just has these, you know, older trucks that didn't take the logos off and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and I did build a little monument on the layout with that. I'll show you in a different video. This is getting long and boring. You're staring at something and me late rambling on. So, I will let you go. This, I think, will be the end of the video. And um, once I get things glued down and kind of fixed all up, I might make another update once I get the yard relatively finished. Um, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on in maybe another month or two or three or four or whatever. Maybe June. But I will make another video eventually. Um, so till then, this has been Con Nair Nair, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.